Hello and welcome to Server Resist. In this video I'm going to go through all the key points in the Server tournaments and Server game weeks. Before we get into that, if you're not signed up to, this, to the channel yet, please hit that subscribe button and also like the um, video as well if you do enjoy it. And also, if you've not signed up survey yet, there is a link in the description below if you did wish to do that. Okay then, so you want to know all the info on the SO5 tournaments on survey? Well, I'm here to educate you. Let's start with the basics. You need to select five players to enter a SO5 tournament. You need one goalkeeper, at least one defender, at least one midfielder, and at least one forward. And then you can select an additional defender, midfielder or forward as well for the extra slot. You cannot use the same player twice. You will then need to select a captain who will get an additional 20% bonus on their score. So selecting the right captain could be the difference between winning and missing out on the prizes. Once you've selected your team of five and your captain, you just need to click the confirm button to confirm your team for the upcoming game week. So Rare is a fantasy football game. For tournaments to take place, there needs to be football games scheduled in real life. These are called tournaments. There are two tournaments per week. Game weeks start on Fridays and Tuesdays. And you have to make your you have to make sure your teams are submitted before the deadline. There are three main league structures where you can compete for great rewards every week. There's the global structure, so there's the All Star Global League, which contains four divisions in which you can play in which we you can play cards with players from any combination of leagues. There's the Under Twenty Three League. The Under-23 League contains four divisions again, in which you can only use players that are 23 or under as of July 2020. The Rookie League, which is a free-to-play Rookie League, where new managers can play for eight game weeks with common cards and up to two rare cards. Then there's the Regional Leagues. There's the Champions Europe League, which is which contains four divisions. Entry is limited to players representing teams in the top five European football leagues. So that's the English Premier League, the Spanish La Liga, the Italian Serie A, the German Bundesliga, and the French Liga One. There's also the Champions America League, again four divisions. Entry is limited to teams in the American leagues covering the American MLS, the Argentina Superliga the Mexican Liga MX, the Colombian Premier A and the Brazilian Serie A. There's the Champions Asia League, which again has four divisions. Entry is limited to players representing teams in the Asia Leagues, covering the Japan J League, the Korean K League and the Chinese Super League. And last but not least, we have the Challenger Europe League. Challenger Europe, again, contains four divisions. Entry is limited to players representing teams from teams outside the top five European leagues. So these European leagues include the Portugal Liga, the Russian Premier League, the Holland Eredivisie, the Belgian Pro League, Scottish Premiership, Turkish Super League and the English Championship. A regional league is open if there is at least one club playing in the game week for that region. Global All-Star is open when there are at least two clubs playing in the regional tournaments. We then have the special structure. So we've got the training league. The training league in which you can play with a combination of cards. So this is where you can gain XP for your cards that you're not using um, in the main tournaments. There's also the special events. The weekly challenges can be played with any combination of cards. So unique, super rare and rare. There's also the unique league. The weekly unique can be played with just unique cards only, hence the name of the league. 
The four divisions in each league structure have entry criteria based on card eligibility. This will help ensure managers of similar strengths and can complete closely together. You must own all players selected at the game week deadline. Once the deadline has passed, you are safe to sell any selected players as their score will still count. So the training league allows for unlimited team entry. So remember to play your unused tournament players here each week if you want them to level up. The special events leagues also allows you to have one entry, one team entry. And no cards get a bonus in this league. So no matter the scarcity, it's a level playing field in the special events league. So the tournaments available on survey at the time of recording is the Global All-Star, the Regional Structures and the Special Weekly. Each league, apart from the Special Weekly, has four divisions with different card eligibility requirements. Here is what you need to be able need is what you need to be able to take part in each division. Now to enter Division 4 you need a minimum of four rares. You can then fill the final slot with a common card. It's usually a good idea to use a common goalkeeper if you choose this option as goalkeepers generally score lower anyway and are more expensive. Only a rare can be selected as captain. In Division 3 you need at least three rares and the rest of the team could be filled with super rares. No common cards are allowed. Only a rare can be selected as the captain. To enter Division 2 you will need at least three super rares and can use a maximum of one rare and one unique for the other slots. Only a super rare can be selected as captain. No common cards are allowed. To enter Division 1 you will need a minimum of three uniques and the rest of the side can be filled up with super rares. Only a unique card can be selected as captain. No common cards are allowed. So that's everything you need to know about the tournament structures and what cards you need to compete. So what are you waiting for? Enter a team in the upcoming game week before that deadline. If you did like this video, please do that and like the video. If you're not subscribed to the channel yet, please subscribe so you don't miss any future content from me. And if you've got any comments about this video, please put them in the comments section. If you've not signed up to Survey yet, there is a link in the description below to get yourself 10 free common cards and also a rare card after you've purchased your first 5 rares. Okay, thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon.